right, so to solve this first problem, we know that when the absolute value sign side is greater than the other side, we have to use or. So we can rewrite this saying 11 plus 7x over 8 is greater than 7 or 11 plus 7x over 8 is less than negative 7. Okay, so then let's look at the left side to solve it first. So we can start by multiplying both of the sides of the inequality by 8 to get rid of the fraction. So then we have 11 plus 7x is greater than 56. And then after we have that written down, we want to subtract 11 from both sides. So then we have 7x is greater than 45. So then once we divide both sides by 7, we will get x is greater than 45 over 7. All right, now looking at the right side, we can start out the same way by first multiplying by 8. And that will give us 11 plus 7x is less than negative 56. And then we can subtract 11 from both sides. So then we'll have 7x is less than negative 67. And now we want x alone again, so we will divide by 7. And then we have x is less than negative 67 over 7. Okay, so now for interval notation, we know that we don't have an equal to bar underneath their greater than or less than symbols. So we're going to have all parentheses in this interval notation. So let's start out by opening with a parenthesis. And since x is less than negative 67 over 7, we know that to represent all values below it forever, um, we will use negative infinity. So we'll have negative infinity, comma, negative 67 over 7, close with the parenthesis. And then we'll use this or symbol here. And then since obviously the solution doesn't include 45 over 7, it's everything greater than that and on this left side here. We'll open with another parenthesis and have 45 over 7, comma. And then the same concept here. X includes all values greater than 45 over 7. And we'll represent all of those as positive infinity and then close with the parentheses. So that's our interval notation. Now to graph this, we will plot negative 67 over 7 and 45 over 7. And then you can see by the interval notation that might help you a little bit. We're going to all values below negative 67 over 7, so we'll shade all the way to negative infinity over here. And then we'll shade all the way above 45 over 7 to positive infinity on this side. And that's our solution.